Hi, Moms on the Go. Thank you for visiting. So today in our cooking segment, we're going to make an all bean soup with chicken. And so you'll be surprised. And I really got this idea from Dr. Oz and they made a chicken soup, but I tried to go online and find it again and could not find the actual recipe. So I thought it up in my head and I just purchased some things and I just decided to try to make it myself. This is the second time that I've made it. So now I'm going to show you how to make it really quick and easy. You can put this on and come back later tomorrow, whatever, later on tonight and your dinner will be ready. So it's, I'm making it in this small crock pot. I don't actually know how many ounces this is, but it's just a mini crock pot. So I'm going to make it all in here and then I'm going to show you what to put in and then we're going to show it to you later. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is just put in all of my ingredients. So I've already washed the tops of the can. So I always wash the top of the can and then rinse them off. I already rinsed them off and I poured them back in there, rinse them and, you know, rinse all the salt and the, all the preservatives and all that stuff off of there. So I just use a can of Bush reduced sodium garbanzo beans. So I take those, just put them in there. So remember, it's just the beans. Everything else that was in here I, is out. I already poured it out and rinsed it out. Again, this is just an off-brand Kroger brand, uh, red, light red kidney beans. So I take the kidney beans. You can put your beans of your choice in there. So I'm putting kidney beans in. Okay, then I'm going to take a premium chicken breast, Kroger brand. You'll be surprised. This is really good. So that's just a small can of that, and that is about five ounces. So I'm having two of these, and I've rinsed it out, poured the juices that was in there out. Put another one in there, so that's two. And I'm gonna take a can of Rotel tomatoes, and that's just gonna add a little bit of seasoning, extra seasoning to it. So one, I think this is what, an eight ounce? No, 10 ounce can, I believe, of Rotel tomatoes, just one. And pour that in there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of Kroger brand Cajun style blend recipe seasoning you can cut your own seasoning up but we're doing this really fast um, it's a fast quick meal that I found out that I love so I take a little bit of that this is only about a half of a cup of the seasoning blend and I just pour that in there because my husband doesn't really like that much seasoning that many onions so I just put just a little bit of that in there and then these are all my seasonings and of course the vegetable broth so we're gonna do and I have the simple truth organic vegetable broth fat free so I'm gonna take that and just pour that in and you want to cut make sure that it just covers everything so take that where it's just gonna cover everything. You know, it's not too full and you're gonna be able to close the lid. So we can always come back and put more as the juice is gonna go away. So this is my ground pepper. So I'm just gonna ground some pepper like that. Okay. And then we're gonna move over to our basil Kroger brand. Put a little bit of basil in. I just kind of do this by my eye. I don't really, so what was that? About eight to 10 shakes. Then my father-in-law went to Louisiana and he purchased this for me. It's no salt, spicy, salt-free Cajun seasoning. I absolutely love it. Again, we got this from Louisiana. So I just, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's say 10. Season that, put that in there. We're gonna put a little bit of onion powder. Almost put, almost, Oh, I got my onion powder wet yesterday when I was doing something else. And then put a little bit of onion powder, put a little bit of garlic powder. Did I do everything? So take that and stir it up. Okay, and let's see, let me show you what it looks like here. And feel free to put any other ingredients that you want see what that looks like boy when that cooks down it's going to look even more delicious 
You can eat that with crackers or the oyster crackers or regular crackers. I'm going to put the lid on. And then I'm going to go, and I, what I'm going to do is turn it on high. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to plug it up back here. But I'm going to do that after the video, so I just wanted you to get the gist of the idea of what to do. This is probably less than five, less than ten minutes to make. So, really quick, it's my all bean and chicken soup. You can put the beans that you like. I hope you like it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, and thank you for visiting. So, hey, mom's on the go. The beans are all heated up. The chicken and beans, this is what it looks like. Mark it a little ladle and show you that's how hearty it is. You have the chicken and the beans and everything, and basically it just needed to be heated up. So, I put this on about 12.30. It is now o'clock it's been heated for a while everything's already cooked so you really just needed to get hot and you can see right now that it's hot so enjoy